What's up friends? Here we have the Apple Mac Mini relaunch. It has finally happened. I personally am a fan of the Mac Mini series. I've been waiting for this for the past two years and it is here. So we can see that the Apple Mac Mini comes with either the M4 or the M4 Pro chip. Here I have highlighted the M4 Pro chip. This is something that I absolutely do not need but I'm still considering anyways just because I love the redesign that they did. What we have specced out here would be the base M4 Pro chip with the 12 core, not the base unit, which is just M4, but the base M4 Pro specs here, uh, with 12 core CPU, 16 core GPU, and 16 core neural engine, has the 24 gigabytes of unified memory. Now 24 gigabytes turns out to be the minimum on the uh, Apple, M4 Pro chip. Now, if you get the M4 chip, it still comes with a minimum of 16 gigabytes. Kudos to Apple for finally catching up and for settling the debate in this world nowadays. When you're doing compute, you need 16 gigabytes. I don't care who you are. I know there's some people out there that can get by fine without eight, but it doesn't mean that manufacturers shouldn't ship without at least 16. And so with this version, base version, you can see that 24 is the minimum with the Pro. Also, the SSD has been bumped up, up to 512 gigabyte minimum, no 256 option here, very nice. Three Thunderbolt 5 ports, that is, Thunderbolt 5 is an amazing technology. You are talking here that you really can start hooking up some NVMe, NVMe SSDs and they are gonna be going almost as fast as your internal hard drives. Even with Mac Minis are kind of known, the Mac series, in fact, is known for pretty quick write, read and write speeds on their internal hard disk. However, you, can, you, you won't surpass that with an external hard drive, but you can really start to approach it now. Now, I use a uh, Samsung T7. That gets read and write speeds, I believe, around 1,700. Um, but now we're talking about going up to maybe five to six thousand three times as fast and so that is just great having three not not one not two but three thunderbolt 5 ports and then <clears throat> two additional usb-c ports and a headphone jack very odd that they have that and an hdmi port i say it's odd it's really nice that they have the headphone jack but knowing apple i figured that would be going away sometime soon okay come down here we can see typical apple as they always do their up charges are just absolutely crazy so if you're getting this i do believe that this engine is probably their most their, their best price right here if you're looking for an upgrade that's somewhat reasonable it would be the m4 pro chip with the 14 core 20 core gpu 16 core neural engine that's because you're getting a four extra cores on your gpu two extra cores on your cpu for 200 extra dollars but i could never ever justify at least for my budget paying $400 for 24 gigs more memory or you know $600 for the 64 which is 40 gigs more memory <clears throat> especially because Apple now the way RAM works on these M series is a little bit different but it's just it's not that expensive this is where Apple makes a ton of money is on the markup of this internal RAM and of the storage you can see a one terabyte store SSD storage a $200 increase over 512 2 terabytes, 600, 4 terabytes, 1200, 8 terabytes, 2400. These prices are absolutely insane. This is just Apple being Apple and just bending you over backwards. But the weird thing is, is that the Mac Mini Series, the base level unit on both the M4 and the M4 Pro is fairly priced. So if I come down here, I take this away, I'm looking at this, $1399 for this system. This is absolutely not a bad system in any way, shape, or form. This is competitive with anything that you can build over in the Windows environment, okay? And that goes especially for the M4, just the base M4, which starts at 599 with 16 gigabytes of RAM. However, once you start adding things on, it quickly gets spendy, okay? Anyways, let me know what you think. The redesign, this is much smaller than the current Mac Mini. It's a little bit taller. They ended up putting the power button on the bottom, which I think is the dumbest possible thing they could do. But that's neither here or there. I usually don't turn off my Mac Minis very often anyway, so I don't know how big of a deal that is, but it just seems silly that they would put it there. Uh, two USB-C ports on the front. 
Then of course, again, three Thunderbolt 5 ports. So you got five ports, more than enough to handle more, more of your stuff. If you're like me, you have additional things um, that you can plug in to expand that even more. So tell me what you think below. I myself am very happy with this. I don't know that I'm gonna buy it. I have an M2 Pro Mac Mini that's been running spectacularly. I don't think that the M4 Pro shows enough of an improvement in performance for me to justify getting a new computer. I'm trying to think in my mind if I can somehow justify giving my old one to my son, but he doesn't really need it. He just uses a Chromebook, but maybe I'll have to wait for the M5 or M6 version, but I really do like the look of this. It's much more smaller, takes up less space in your desk, a little bit taller, but smaller overall footprint. So anyways, let me know what you think down below. Thank you.